because of the uh, large distances involved in, in the Australian environment, um, we eventually got long range fuel tanks, which were developed here in Australia, to fit inside the aircraft and then feed into the, the exterior fuel tanks as you flew along. Um, I remember there is, in the very early day, or in the early days that I was there, um, there was a long range operation where they flew a, a Chinook up to Malaysia to recover a Nuri helicopter uh, out of the jungle up there. And that, at this, that stage, was the longest deployment of an Australian helicopter uh, in the history of the RAF. And Des Long flew that up to, uh, up to Malaysia and brought it back. Australia is a very dusty environment, and um, we did eventually learn how to land in really dusty conditions, and that is basically you just uh, keep moving forward rather than come to the hover, and you get the back wheels on the ground before the dust catches up with you, and once, that, once you've got the back wheels on the ground, you're fairly stabilised and you can sit the aircraft down. Well, some of the, some of the original pilots that uh, were uh, here when the uh, Chinook first came into service actually did their training in the United States. So they went to America and uh, a lot of that would have been covered uh, in their training in the US. But um, I don't know if the US has got more dust than us, but we've got a lot of dust.